if you have a boring interior door like this, then I have a few ways to jazz it up like this. Let's get started. Ace's home expert, Lou Manfredini, started this project for me by cutting and nailing some of the trim to this door. If that's a step you wanna take, adding trim like this to a door will save you on a full door replacement. All right, let's get started transforming this door. In most instances, I'm a fan of leaving the door on while painting, but for this video, I'm removing it because I have a few embellishments in mind that really wanna make over this door. With the door off, give it a good cleaning so it's clear of any dust, lint, or dirt. Using some soap or water, clean your door, and once you have it cleaned, wipe it down with a dry cloth and allow it to completely dry before moving on. If you have any holes, scratches on the door, patch those with some wood putty. Once the putty is dry, give the entire door a good sanding with a fine grit sanding sponge. Once that is complete, make sure you wipe down the entire door to get rid of that fine grit sanding dust. Doors take a lot of use and abuse when it comes to painting them. So choose a durable paint like Clark and Kensington's Cabinet Door and Trim and choose a semi-gloss or a high gloss sheen. This will make it cleaning easier and hold up against that wear and tear. I wanted this door to stand out, so I'm painting it Spicy Paprika. Start by using the paintbrush to focus on the detail work first. This includes the decorative areas or panels. Dip the brush only about a third to a halfway into the paint and let the excess paint drip for a moment. Then lightly tap both sides of the brush against the interior wall of the can or the bucket you're using. If the door has a wood grain on it, paint in the direction of the wood grain. As you paint, make sure you keep a wet edge and continue to paint from that point forward. Once you've painted those detail areas, start from the top of the door and make your way all the way down, working left to right and then down. I recommend starting with a two or three inch synthetic flat or angled brush for the detail work, and then switch to a small six inch roller with a low nap texture. Start at the top of the door and work your way all the way down. This will give you a smooth looking finish without those brush mark strokes. Let this dry overnight and cure for at least 24 hours before hanging it back on. I'm a fan of unexpected color, so I'm gonna paint this area of the door to add a little pop of color. To do this, we're going to use the yellow frog tape, which is for delicate surfaces. This tape is perfect for recently painted finishes and doesn't pull the paint off. These new doorknobs and hinges in black really give it a modern update. I took my old hinges to my local Ace and they found the perfect match to replace them. Just look at that before and after. The home updates don't stop there. Check out my next video where I upped my curb appeal with a front door makeover. That video is coming up next.